What's up everyone, it's Anthony from AB Fitness Center and if you're looking to lose body fat, gain muscle and totally transform your body, then you're in the right place. Today I'm going to share with you three simple tips to lose those man boobs or that chest fat. So chest fat, chest fat <laughs> can't speak today, uh, can be one of the most uncomfortable things especially for men. So if you're struggling with that, then look no further than this video. Make sure you stick around for each of the three steps that I'm going to give you because I'm going to explain them in depth and how you can apply them right now and start getting rid of those man boobs and start getting an alpha Adonis chest. All right, so let's get rolling. Step number one, you got to eat in a calorie deficit. So in order to lose body fat, period, we need to be eating less calories than we're burning. I know you were hoping to click this video and hoping for me to say, okay, just do push-ups every day and that's what's going to get it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. You need to be in a calorie deficit, meaning that you need to be eating less calories than you were and are burning. So what I would recommend, I'd recommend you download my fitness pal, okay, and start logging everything in that you're eating. Put everything, anything that contains calories has to go in your MyFitnessPal and start to begin to track how much protein, how much carbs, how much fat, and how many calories you're taking in every day. Monitor your results over a couple days, over a course of a week, and get on the scale every morning and see where you're at. Say, okay, I'm losing. If you're After a week of doing this, if you notice that your weight is trending down, then that means that you're in a calorie deficit. If not, that means you're eating too many calories. You need to scale it back a little bit and then do that again until you're actually losing weight week to week. So once you enter that calorie deficit, you're gonna start losing fat everywhere. We can't control where you lose it from. There's no such thing as spot reduction, but we can just amplify this process by losing body fat. So that's step number one, most important one. Number two, okay, you're gonna train your chest hard and heavy two to three times a week with compound movements. You're gonna train like a power builder, anywhere between three and eight reps for that body part. So in order to stimulate the most muscle possible, you really need to be training with compound movements. So things like bench press, barbell bench presses, dumbbell bench presses, incline those are the main bread and butter movements for the the whole upper body pretty much your chest you use a little bit of your back your shoulders everything when you use those movements and you need to be doing those things two to three times a week if you're not doing that with progression you're not going to be gaining muscle remember we want to transform this area and in order to do that you need to put on a little bit of muscle in order for that area to look different and start to get like striations and to shape the area you need to be training like that. You need to go hard and heavy like a real power builder in order to be able to really, really change that shape. So again, like I said, compound movements, barbell bench press, dumbbell bench press, incline barbell, and um, incline dumbbell. Those are the four bread and butter movements that you're gonna be doing. Um, I have an, I'm gonna throw in here an added bonus, so it's actually a four step. I said three, but it's a four step. Uh, number three, you're not gonna be doing any lower chest movements so no dips okay um, no decline movements because a lot of that's going to hit the muscles more down here i know when we do a regular barbell chest you, uh, press you're going to be hitting this area anyway but we don't want to emphasize more on the lower end we don't want that so no dips and no like decline movements of any sort no decline flies or anything like that stick to those big four movements that i just mentioned that's the meat and potatoes of the program in order to change the way your chest looks and no decline movements at all you don't want to be building more muscle on the bottom even though barbell hits that area you don't want to be building more muscle on the bottom because then you're going to get more of a bottom heavy look and step number three and this is probably the most important one so if you're still listening good job because this is the most important one you're going to hit the incline portion of your chest every workout first so like i just mentioned with the decline not to do decline movements with the upper portion of the chest, you want to develop that more of that shelf on top. So you want, and in, in, very simple, you want this area to get more developed so it pops out more than the bottom does. Because if you do a lot of declining, overdevelop the bottom, you're going to have a big gap here and a, nothing here. So you want to be able to build up the upper chest. The upper chest is also what you see first in a tank top. So whenever you walk around with a tank top on, you're going to see your upper chest more. And in order for that area to pop, we need to prioritize it. So you need to be doing incline barbell, 
or incline dumbbell first in your chest routine. And again, like I said, going back to step number two, hard and heavy in order for you to really, really morph your chest and to get rid of those man boobs and man, uh, you know, fat chest, essentially. So if you're interested in sitting down with me to map out a strategic fat loss plan, just make sure you click the link below. And I challenge you to not just watch my videos, but to actually take action. So now I taught you today the four steps that you need to do in order to get rid of your man boobs. Go and take action on it. And remember, consistency is key. Don't just watch my videos and do nothing. Go out there and put in the work. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.